Medal ceremony to come uh, later, but we almost immediately, as you can see, move on to our next European Championship race, and it's the women's kayak doubles over a thousand meters. Again, uh, this was a race which was not contested in the recent World Championships in Canada in Lake Banuk, but this is the uh, lineup. And Hungary in lane five, they are the defending uh, European champions. They won the title in Poznan ahead of Spain and Poland. That was the one, two, three. All three countries represented again in today's lineup. And we start with Italy over on the far side. Italy, who were in this particular boat class, uh, the best they've ever done was seventh. And then Germany, Julia uh, Hegert and Caroline Aft. Now, this is a, a really interesting partnership for uh, Germany. Both of these women based out of Essen, Sweden, Melina Andersson and Johanna Johansson. Under 23 talent. And then to uh, Poland. Now, Poland in the history of this race. Second in 2018, third in 2017. They won it in 2009, and they won heat number two to get directly into this final. And next to them, the Hungarians who won heat number one, but were about three seconds slower. But take that with a pinch of salt. Hungary, who've won this world title recently in 2017, 18 and 19. And they are, of course, as I said, the champions from 2021 in Poland. And then completing the uh, lineup, Spain in lane six, Ukraine in seven, Denmark two from the bottom of your picture in lane eight and closest to you, the uh, Czech Republic. The Danish pair there, Pernil Knudsen, bronze medalist in the individual kayak over a thousand meters in the World Championships of 2021. And it was the Danish who actually won the semi finals to find their way into this particular medal contest. The final of the men of the women's uh, K2 1,000 meters. Under starters' orders. Starters been very, very good here, Malcolm. Yeah, it's been good, actually. There hasn't been a large gap between getting them ready and, and setting them off. We haven't seen a full start yet, so that's good for all the paddlers here and good for the program. And. Uh, a clean start, they're difficult to see. I wouldn't be surprised if the Polish got away well. They do. You can see the white and the red of Poland there. Right next to them, just beginning to move through after the start. That's the Hungarians. We need to keep an eye on these very good endurance athletes. And then the young and fairly new German crew. They um, have a bit of work to do at the moment, but it's a long way to go yet. In picture, Spain. Uh, Begona Lascano and uh, Laia Pelax. Spanish, who were fifth in the world a couple of seasons ago and fifth in Europe some four years ago. And you can see uh, a breakaway uh, trio there. Lane six, Spain, lane five, Hungary, lane four, Poland. Yeah, you can see that the Hungarians weren't the best out of the start, but then after the start, they decided to keep it going. Rather than settling into that race pace, they wanted to keep moving and try and get their nose in front, and they did that very, very well, looking really, really strong. And as I said, they're very good endurance athletes, so expect them to be there right at the end. Polish crew in lane four got away very, very well, but they've just settled now, perhaps allowing a little bit the Swedish K2, we can see just to the left of our picture, maybe to get on terms with these three. And the sport is called uh, canoe sprint, but as you alluded uh, to a few moments ago, Malcolm, all of these athletes putting in hundreds of kilometers during the winter to uh, bring themselves into this sort of condition for the European Championships. They do, uh, you know, as we get to the halfway mark there, there's a lot of paddling going on, often in warmer climes. You know, they certainly used to spend a lot of time in Florida, in San Diego, and often in Spain in the early season. 
and uh, they put a lot of miles in and this will count towards the end of this race kohalmi there that classic hungarian style really using the muscles of her back to swing around the blade setting a very good rhythm for esther Rindesi to follow her so hungarians going well at halfway in lane five yeah Ebiz uh, kohalmi just 20 years of age under 23 world champion in 2021 over a thousand meters and a partner, Esther Rendesi, under 23, world champion out of the K4. And uh, this is where the Hungarians are so often punish the opposition in the third quarter. And they've got half a kayak's length with 250 meters to go. And it looks as if the medals are going to be amongst these three crews. And it's going to be Spain and Hungary and Poland fighting it out. The Hungarians, though, with really good symmetry and good blade work. Yeah, it's a really great picture, that one. They look very, very together when you see them from front. They're going to be putting the pressure. In fact, the poles, you can see, on the far side, who have been keeping their powder dry. They are the ones that are really giving it to the Hungarians now, and it's, the Hungarians have to respond as we come into the final 60 metres of this race. Justina Eskritscher and Adriana Kakol of Poland moving solidly into silver medal position. The Spanish haven't got anything else to offer at the moment. They're really trying to get to the Hungarians, but you can see half a kayak is the difference, and the Hungarians have responded. They picked it up again. They were asked the question, and now this is the answer. And just a couple of strokes to the line, Hungary take the second gold of the European Championships ahead of Poland, and Spain take the bronze. Yeah, good race from the Hungarians there. It was just the start. They weren't leading at the start, but after this start, when everybody settled into their race pace, they continued and really began to dominate that one. They were very, very strong. Polish crew put them under pressure, but as you said, David, the Hungarians had all the answers. Well, he can see the start. It was the Spanish crew, not surprisingly, got away well. They're in lane six. But the important bit is after the start. It's about 15 or 20 seconds into the race. When you settle into the race pace, it's the Hungarians that kept that long stroke, kept that dynamicism in the stroke, and just had that little bit more than the others. Didn't settle in quite as much. Looking really good. Great extension at the front of the stroke there uh, uh, from Kohami and Esther Rendesi just backing her up on every single stroke. The timing very, very good. And that's what counts, particularly over a race like the 1,000 metres. This, of course, is a non-Olympic um, event, and uh, many of these paddles, like the young Hungarians we can see in picture there, they will be vying for a place in the K4s and in, in perhaps in the shorter 500-metre distance so they can be in the Olympic categories. This is a good opportunity for them to put a marker down to show the coaches they want to be in those positions. Well, uh, absolutely delight. Congratulations. As I said, they're both under 23 world champions just last season. And uh, their confirmation that Hungary have got their first gold medal. Of course, Germany and Hungary very much recognized over so many years as being the powerhouses of uh, sprint canoeing. And uh, when you look at the record, uh, Hungary with a total of 375.